Hey guys, welcome to today's build where we're going to be covering our 3 to 5 minute farm and build for all the rifts. Uh, this is really good for your greater rifts for leveling up those keys and also for nephilim rifts if you are just farming dragon's breath items and all that kind of thing. So it's not too far away from your normal push and build that you'll see for fire bats. It's the same set of all your Arakars items. Um, Traveler's Pledge, Compass Rose combo, exactly the same. Jungle Wraps. Ring of Emptiness, Corals of the First Spider, all exactly the same. Uh, the only real difference is, is that we swap out our Sacred Harvester uh, and Vile High for Mana Jumba's Carving Knife and his Gory Fetch. This is because when you take Hex with Angry Chicken on, you get 15 seconds and your movement speed is increased an additional 100%. Uh, you do get the bonus of 400% extra damage when you blow up and slain enemies trigger an additional explosion which is quite nice but mainly just for the speed increase for 15 seconds it also means that if you run the full duration in angry chicken without any um without stopping for any fights as soon as it expires and you come out of the form you can jump straight back into the form because it's already cooled down so you can just constantly run straight through the dungeon and that's what we're going to be looking for um other than that, skill wise, your skills are going to be set up slightly different. Obviously, it's a farm and build. We drop Spur of Vessel uh, and I replace it with Gruesome Feast because you're always going to be picking up globes. Uh, so, you're always pretty much going to have a, a full stack of intellect bonus. Grave Injustice stays on, Confidence Ritual stays on, and Creeping Death I like to keep on uh, just to keep the Haunt and the Locust Swarm doing their thing. Uh, you can swap this for Pierce the Veil if you want to, um, or some people also prefer to go with Fias Loyalty because we are running zombie dogs. It's That one's I would say is more of a personal preference, I do prefer just to keep Creeping Death on. Um, Spirit Walk, we'll go with Honored Guest just to get that mana back. Draining Spirits just to keep the mana going as well. Summon Zombie Dogs is Leech and Beasts just to heal you with their uh, hits. And then obviously Angry Chicken in the Hex ruin and that's pretty much it guys um it's really really quick build so what i'll do is we'll quickly jump in now um we'll not go that high 13 i still find even with my kit is kind of a little bit hit and miss um because you can get killed it can die a few times but you'll still absolutely smash the timer but it'll not be as quick as what it will if you drop down to maybe like say a 12 um so if we do a 12 now we'll jump right in and we'll absolutely boss through this no problems at all the main thing you want to be doing is just searching out for the elite packs. Um, I will stop for biggish enemies like that if it's going to be worth it. Um, but really you want to get in amongst elite packs, boss them down, and then just move on to the next one. And then once you can get out of there, move on your way. The one thing we didn't cover at the start of the video was our item slots in the cube. Um, they're all pretty much going to remain the same. The only one that's going to change is you're going to take Nemesis Bracers just for the pylons. Um, makes more sense just to speed up the farming sort of pace. Every time you pick up your pylon, you're going to get your um, an elite pack spawn. So it just means that it pretty much, depending on how, you, how lucky you are with shrines, you can pretty much half the half the timer well as you can see guys you just move through the dungeon so quickly and that's the main part why the build so popular for farming on witch doctors like I say I will stop for little odd packs just to if, I, if I'm going to blow up anyway like I was in that situation you might as well kill a few few enemies before you go and then you just move on. And this just becomes ridiculously fast. Um, the higher up you go, it does slow down slightly. And you might be looking at more of the 7 or 8 minute mark. But still, 78 minutes to clear a greater rift. Get some key ups. It's pretty good.
and then on to the next one. It's just rinse and repeat, guys, all the time. I'm going to go back for that loot pack. I fear I was a little bit naughty. And that was the trigger of the additional explosions. You see it just kind of chain its way through. It's probably the, one of the most fun builds out of the classes that I've played for farming. It's just, it's so ridiculously overpowered at the minute, but it's also, it just looks ridiculous as well. It just looks absolutely stupid. Like whoever came up with it is just an absolute hero. That's a dungeon nearly complete, guys. It's simple as that. Obviously, the clear times do really. Whoop. The clear up times really do depend on um, how good you roll with the enemy elite packs. Uh, we've been sort of lucky in here, um, I would say. Didn't have to take too many detours. But obviously, the. The more straightforward the dungeon is in terms of how linear it is for directions, uh, that'll speed up your time quite a lot as well. That's it guys, enjoy your loot, pick it up, see if you get anything good, and then you want to get your gem levels up. So we'll start getting, leveling up this bad boy, ready to put in another item on our ancient kit, and that's all we're pretty much farming for at the minute. And you guys will enjoy it. So we'll clear that with 10 minutes, 39 seconds to spare. Um, I think we probably could have maybe gone slightly quicker, depending. Um, but like I say, guys, it really does depend on the role of the dungeon and how linear it is. Um, but pretty much between the 3 and 5 minute mark is normally the average. And you will get ones that are slightly a couple of seconds like that one was over. Um, and then sometimes you get ones that take like 3.5 minutes and it's absolutely amazing. So enjoy the build, guys. If you enjoy watching the video, drop us a like, drop us a subscribe. Check out the links below to follow us and also a link to the build on Diablo fans. Thanks for watching, guys.